In 2021, roughly 36.3 gigatons of carbon dioxide was emitted into the atmosphere from sources such as non-renewable energy sources. My name is Chris Tavare, and I'm here to offer a new green energy source. This is an example of the treble electric effect, which I will use to generate electricity. All materials have a ranking on the treble electric series based on its tendency to gain or lose electrons. When two materials have some sort of physical interaction with each other, they will generate an electric charge. This is due to electrons moving from one material to the other. I used a homemade electroscope to determine the materials that could generate the highest charge. Then, using the best materials, I experimented them. I used two methods of experimentation, lateral sliding and vertical separation. Based on the data collected, I decided to use Kapton and aluminum for my final model due to their low cost, flexibility, and efficient power output. My final triboelectric nanogenerator, or TANG model, will contain a semisphere within a semisphere design for floatability and for maximum surface contact from the inner to the outer hemisphere. The inner hemisphere is a scaled down version of the outer hemisphere, allowing for omnidirectional movement and maximum surface contact. Virginia alone has over 7,000 miles of shoreline. Assuming that I place two tanks for every meter of shoreline, that's about 22.5 million tanks. That generates about 9 million volts, running at 50% efficiency. Overall, triple electricity has proven to be a viable energy source. My tanks are low maintenance, efficient, and cheap. My tanks are also a way to work towards the WHO's and UN's seventh goal of ensuring access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. This energy source is efficient in numbers and has the potential to power numerous households. For the future, in order to improve my tanks, I plan to work with different designs as well as more energy efficient and economically viable materials.